The Holyland Solidcom C1 is a full duplex wireless intercom headset system that operates in the 1.9 GHz band. It has a claimed operating range of up to 350 meters. Key features include Clear wideband audio with 150Hz to 7kHz frequency response DEX 6.0 for enhanced stability and security Replaceable rechargeable battery for extended working time 168 grams lightweight headset, comfortable to use all day long Customizable and expandable package scheme for varying team sizes On film sets, wireless handsets can increase efficiency by allowing team members to easily communicate with each other they can come in very handy when you are filming live shows with multiple cameras, reality TV or any type of event where a team needs to communicate with each other over large distances. You could also use them for simple communication between a solo shooter and a director or producer, or even to talk to a sound recordist. The build quality is pretty good considering how lightweight the headsets are. While some parts do feel a little plasticky I was fairly happy with the overall build quality. The headphones feel a lot more solidly made and well thought out than the Came TV Wero system. Hollyland Gas paid a lot of attention to small details with the design and it shows with the end product. You can wear the headsets on either your left or right ear. If you are shooting with a camera on your shoulder you don't want the headset to interfere with how you operate. I found that the handsets didn't uncomfortably smash up against the side of the camera, however, the pad is likely to make contact with the side of the camera if you are a left eye operator. The master headphone is easily identifiable because it uses a red Solidcom C1 label while all of the other headsets are blue. Comfort is right at the top of the list for me when it comes to purchasing any type of headphone. I personally preferred the smaller foam ear cover rather than the larger over-ear cover. The pad on the opposite side of the headphone is reasonably soft and it doesn't dig into your head. The battery slot is also located on the back of the pad, but the battery isn't very heavy so the headset has a good balance. To avoid interference with other devices, the C1 intercom system communicates over the 1.9 GHz spectrum and offers full duplex conversations. In theory, full duplex lets you talk to other team members as you would over the phone, with each party being able to talk and listen simultaneously. Hollyland claims that the maximum operating range of the C1 is 1000 feet or 350 meters, line of sight. This range is comparable with other similar products. The Hollyland C1 system comes with 8 batteries which is a nice touch. The battery goes into a compartment on the opposite side of the headphone. The battery latch door and mechanism feel reasonably tactile and solid. The batteries need to be recharged externally via a dedicated multi-port charger. Each battery takes around 2.5 hours to fully charge. The batteries support up to 10 hours of runtime in the remote headsets and 5 to 6 hours of runtime for the master headset. The controls on the headset are straightforward and easy to use. There is a small on or off switch that is located on the edge of the main headphone. On the side of the headset there are four buttons. I like that Hollyland had made the volume increase button bigger to the other buttons. This makes it easy to locate even when you are wearing the headset. Directly below that button is the volume decrease button. There is also an A and a B button. The A button is the pairing button if you need to pair headsets. You do this by long pressing for 5 seconds. The B button only works if you are using the hub station. The headsets automatically pair once they are on which I like. It saves time and there is no setup required. When the headsets are first turned on you will hear a little audible message saying that they have connected. You do need to use the master headset for the system to work. But you can just use two of the headsets, you don't have to use all of them. To have the microphone active it needs to be in the downward position. To mute it you pull the microphone up and once it goes past a certain point you will hear a little click. To talk you then need to pull the microphone back down. Holyland has placed a little indicator light down near the microphone so you can quickly identify any issues. Here is what the indicators mean. Flashing green, disconnected. Solid green, successful connection. Flashing red, low battery level. Along with comfort, audio quality is very important with any type of duplex wireless system. You need to be able to hear and communicate with your team effectively. The volume is reasonably loud. While you can still hear someone in normal environments if you tried to use them in a very noisy environment like a concert you could struggle. In saying that, that is going to be the case for just about any duplex system that only features a single headphone. If you need to use lots of C1 headsets you can buy the optional hub base. A product such as a duplex wireless headset can meet all of the requirements on paper. But if it doesn't work well out in the field on location then no one is going to want to use it. The Solidcom C1 is also available in sets of 2, 3, 6, 
and 8. Here are the prices for those. System with two headsets is 499 US dollars. System with three headsets is 749 US dollars. System with six headsets is 1479 US dollars.